Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again. Um, welcome to another music collection update. So let's just get right into it. So first up is a compilation album by the uh, a black and uh, black and speed metal band Witch's Hammer. Uh, this is called Canadian Speed Metal. Um, this is a compilation of their uh, first demo and their third demo. Um, yeah, for some reason they skipped over their second demo. I don't know why. Um, there's only one compilation that has their second demo, but that was like way later than this, I believe. Um, and it's pretty hard to find now. Um, but yeah, th this uh, contains their first demo and their third demo. Again, skips their second demo for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, their first demo was 1985, their, uh, third demo was 1987. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a very sort of underrated, can uh, Canadian band, or, uh, Canadian, bl uh, black and, uh, speed metal. Now, I'm more familiar with black and thrash. Um, I even, I don't, I don't think I've heard of many black and speed metal bands, maybe like one or two, but I don't think I'm very familiar with it as a whole, but uh, yeah, a pretty interesting band, uh, pretty uh, underrated nowadays, uh, kind of forgotten about band, but uh, yeah, this is uh, really the only way you could get their early demos, um, again, except for the uh, third dem uh, second demo for some weird reason. Um, also, I actually got this and then the next thing at um, my uh, local record store. Now, usually they're very good about putting the price stickers on the outside of the plastic sleeve so it doesn't ruin the album when you try to get the sticker off the album. But once in a while, some idiot working there just decides to take an album out of the sleeve and slap the price sticker on the actual case itself. And I didn't take it off because when you every time I tried to take a sticker off of the case. Now this doesn't happen a lot of times, but once in a while when it does happen, uh, uh, I mean I've stopped trying to do it now. But once in a while, but when I used to try to take the stickers off the case, nine times out of ten it would actually rip, uh, either leave a rip on the case on the outside here, or it would just leave sticker residue, which never really came off. No matter how much I tried to scrub it off. But, uh, yeah, so unfortunately I'm probably going to have to leave the sticker on there just in just because I don't want to have the chance of it ruining the case. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, also, this band uh, uh, should not be confused with the band uh, Hammer Witch, which is a completely different band. Uh, they're, I think they're uh, traditional heavy metal. Uh, there's some kind of proto proto uh, thrash metal ish kind of stuff going on with that band but yeah uh which is hammer uh not to be confused with the band hammer witch next up is another compilation album by the same band hammer uh which is hammer i almost said hammer witch but nope <laughs> anyway uh this compilation contains their uh first ep as well as a, a previously unreleased album uh, they say it's a mini album, but there's like, I think like oh, 10 or 11 songs in total uh, for the album. So it's not really a mini album, but I guess it was, I guess, I mean, technically, I guess the songs are actually pretty short uh, in terms of the stuff for the uh, quote unquote mini album. So I guess because the songs are pretty short, I, I guess technically the runtime is short enough to be considered a mini album than a full length. I don't know. It just says, uh, um... Uh, tracks 1 to 5, self-titled EP, and then tracks 6 to 16, uh, unreleased uh, mini LP. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, again, they they just sort of ignore their second demo. Um, for some reason, it's just... It's only been, again, one compilation album, but that was way after these, I believe. Or was it way before? I don't know. I don't know when these particular compilation albums were actually released. It doesn't have a date on it. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up at some point. But, uh, yeah. Um, another, another, uh, compilation of some of their early material. Um, next up is, uh, a cassette. And this is, uh, an original, uh, release of the 1988 debut demo by the band Satanus. Uh, Satanus is a really underrated 
uh, blackened uh, death metal band. Um, no, I say they're underrated because they're, they, I don't know, a lot of their stuff is just not really well known. Um, even the more newer stuff. Um, they kind of uh, started out, I mean, they kind of um, went a little bit weird. Like, uh, um, the majority of their discography, uh, from their first full length to relatively more recently, um, they, they're just kind of bland and forgettable. Uh, but, uh, their, um, th this, this, uh, demo and then their most recent full length are actually really good. Um, but yeah, um, actually they started out as a band that I still don't know how to pronounce their name, Betham or something like that. Um, that, but that was more of a black and thrash band than a black and death band like, uh, this band is. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off track, but, um, yeah, uh, this, uh, this is, this is an original release, uh, this was never re-released on cassette or anything, um, and I don't think there actually is any boot, I, I tried to look it up, I don't think there is actually any bootlegs of this one, because it's pretty obscure, uh, actually very obscure, uh, in terms of, uh, a release by, not just the band, but the, uh, a very early release by them, um, but, uh, yeah, this is 100%, you know, an original release, um, I, uh, I, it was pretty hard to track down, but I'm pretty surprised it wasn't, it wasn't t as expensive as I was, uh, uh, thinking it was, as I thought it would have been. Um, it was around 80 something bucks. Uh, this is a near mint. Uh, really the only issue I could actually see in terms of visuals, I don't know, I haven't listened to it yet, so I don't know the, if the audio quality is, uh, uh, in pristine or it's degraded somewhat, but hopefully it's pristine. Uh, uh, but, uh, the only thing I could see visually about it is that the, uh, of course, uh, I, it's just with age, but, um, the paper is actually, uh, yellowing. You can't really see it on camera, but it is, uh, pretty yellowed up, uh, from just age. Um, but, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, very obscure, uh, but awesome band, uh, for the most, uh, for, uh, again, it, for their early stuff for this demo and then for their most recent album, but, uh, anyway... Um, also really killer out, uh, cover art here. Uh, love that. Uh, they actually re-released this on CD at one point, and then instead of bringing back either bring back the whoever the original artist was to draw it again, or even, uh, having a copy of the, of the original artwork and putting it on that, on that, they did a really, uh, for the CD re-release, they, uh, recreated it in this really CGI, a really, really ugly CGI model. It was not good. Um, it just ended up looking pretty bad, but, uh, anyway, but, uh, yeah, also, uh, one of the best al uh, album, or just, uh, um, uh, yeah, I could, I don't know, album artworks or, uh, uh, cover arts I've ever seen in metal, it's just, it's, it's, it's a simple black and white sketch kind of artwork, but, uh, um, it's done very, very well. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry if I'm, my voice is getting all uh, scratchy or something, I, uh, probably gonna, I'm kind of dehydrated. I need to get some water after this. Um, anyway, uh, next up is uh, an album by a band I've never heard of before or never even listened to. Uh, this is the uh, album Infernal Connection by the thrash metal band um, Acid Drinkers. Uh, this album was actually recommended to me by uh, someone in my comment section in one of my videos. Uh, and so this is a recommended album. Um, I will, I'm going to get to this at some point soon. Uh, this person has been asking me for a while, although it was, it took a while to actually, uh, uh, buy it. And then it took even longer for it to get here. It just was delayed and delayed and delayed. Um, but, uh, it's, I finally have it now and, uh, uh, I'll try to, I'll try to get it done as soon as possible, but, um, I might do a few other reviews first, but, uh, I'll get to it, you know, soon enough. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, never heard of these band, uh, never heard of these guys before or this band or whatever, but, uh, uh, hopefully they're good. Um, I'm not sure what awaits me in the, my listening to this album anyway. Um, and then lastly is not an album, but it is music related. And that is this, uh, this amazing gigantic book. Uh, it is Metallion, the Slayer Mag Diaries. Um, f for those who don't know, uh, Slayer Magazine was a very, very legendary metal magazine series that ran from 1985 to 2010. Um, for an impressive 25 years, 
Uh, I haven't. I don't think I've ever heard of any other mag. Uh, uh, spe- uh, spe- uh, I can't talk today. Specifically, any um, other metal magazine that's run that long. Like again, 1985 to 2010. That's an pretty impressive run. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the uh, complete collection. Uh, but it also has uh, some a uh, little just like there's some sections which are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, in between the uh, in between the issues, some sections which are like notes by Metallion. Um, and then there's some also really cool rare photos and stuff in here as well that are added in here. Um, uh, but yeah, also Metallion, one of the uh, most um, legendary uh, names in all of metal. Uh, of course, he 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 was the uh, um, guy behind the magazine series, um, and uh, he was just a very notable, uh, person in the metal scene back in the day before he retired, um, af- after, after, uh, uh, after this, uh, um, uh, after, uh, issue 10 in, uh, uh, not 10, ash- after issue 20 in, uh, 2010, uh, he retired the series and he just sort of decided to move on to other projects and stuff. Um, I don't know if he's still doing other metal-related projects, but, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that he would retire after 25 years of the, uh, of this being, of this, uh, uh, magazine series, uh, being out and stuff, but, um, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's amazing. I hadn't read through all of it yet, but, uh, there's some really cool stuff in here. Um, actually, the, uh, band Satanus, which I just showed you the, uh, um, demo of, I actually discovered from this, uh, just reading through here and, uh, them mentioning it. Also, there's some of these really cool, um, interviews by bands, um, uh, not every single band that's featured in here gets an interview, uh, but there's, uh, still quite a few that do. Um, I like how early on, um, you also, you, you get information of the band, some, most time interviews, and, uh, you also get the information of, you know, where they're, what country they're from, you know, uh, where, you know, they're, and then they're like, uh, back in the day, you know, their contact information about, you know, if you want to, you know, order an, order a, a cassette or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, just really cool. I'm not going to show it all here because I'm probably going to just do a review of it at some point in the future when I actually read through the entire thing. But, uh, I actually have, um, I actually already had the last issue of Slayer Magazine. You know, issue 20, it was the, uh, hardback edition, uh, that came with the, uh, Morbid Ancient Morbidity EP. Um, that was the last, um, uh, our second to last thing, Metallion, or at least that I know of that Metallion was ever um, uh, um, a part of in terms of uh, album releases. Um, he was a part of that, and I think he was also the very last thing he did in terms of that kind of thing was the release. He was involved in the uh, release of the um, Morbid compilation album Year of the Goat. Um, from what I know, that from what I know, that's the last thing he was involved in. I don't know if he's retired now completely or he's still doing other projects, but. Um, that's the last thing I know of that he did. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know what's what he's doing now. But anyway. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's about it. Oops. Almost knocked that over. Anyway. Uh, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all next time.